guys uh, welcome to tech design thank you for uh, registering my online tutorial if you guys are interested you can also join uh, please check the mail id in the description and you can send a mail to me so that i will uh, tell you the procedures so in this video we will be talking about how we can uh, make this uh, 3d model example as you can see here um, this is not much uh, difficult but uh, now you can see here 100 mm uh, radius is there and uh, you can see some of the cutouts are existing and this is around 15 mm tilted so let us start to make this so for that i will just create a new file and click ok so this will take you to the 3d workbench uh, whereas part modeling and uh, let us go to sketcher environment and select a sketch ok so what I will do is I will just make an outer uh, profile as you can see here it is 48 mm and it is tilted about uh, 15 degree and now from uh, this edge to this it is, uh, it is uh, 45, 40 and uh, 25 mm and as well as uh, there is a slot here with a 27 mm uh, diameter with 40 mm length mm, let us make a profile so I'll just create a profile So oh, there is one more uh, arc here. Okay, and one more arc from here to here, and there is a line from this to this, and one more line from here to here. Okay, so now we need to do dimensioning and uh, constraints. So before doing uh, dimensioning, let us constrain it. So all the curves are uh, tangent between uh, arcs and uh, lines. So let us make a tangency so that it will be easy for us to dimension. Okay, now everything is constrained. So what I will do is, as you can see here, it is a 15 degree tilted. So I will just create one more line here, construction line from this point. So let us make this as 15 degree. So it will be 15 degree and also make it as cons construct also make it as a construction line so and this line is always perpendicular to this construction line so let us make it as a perpendicular and uh, this is always parallel to this okay now we have this outer profile and uh, let us make a dimensioning as you can see here this is 48 and click a dimension and make it as 48 mm okay now now this radius is 100 mm Don't worry if it is uh, going uh, out of the profile. We can make it. And this uh, radius is around uh, 25. So let us give this as a 25. This is asking for a diameter, so 25 multiplied by 2. Okay. Now we need this. Uh, this point is always should lie on this center of the coordinate system let us make it as a constraint this point should lie on this axis and also this point should apply this axis so now what i will do is i need to give this dimension this is uh, 45 mm and 40 mm as well as 25 mm so let us a linear dimension from this to this edge it is 45 plus 40 plus 25 okay. and let us make this point also should lie in this okay now as you can see here uh, this profile needs two constraints so this 
radius I need. So this radius is not given. Let us assume it as a 25 mm radius. So let's give this as 25. It's already 25. And then no need. And now we are left with only one dimension that is this. This is around 45 mm. So let us give 45 mm for this. Okay. One more constraint is there. That is, let us trim this section. Okay. Now the sketch is fully constrained. So what I will do is I will just finish the sketch and let us extrude this. So you can see here there is a 40 mm given, which is an extrude length. So let's make an extrude connected curves and this should be 40 so I will take a symmetric and 20 mm so now what I will do is I will just make these cutouts so first is 25 mm and diameter hole as well as this slot so for that I will just go to sketch and I will select the mid plane let us make one rough slot here which can be dimensioned later and also a hole here with a 12.5 mm radius sorry diameter okay so these dimensions are given here as you can see here the slot is with a 40 mm length and uh, what is the diameter 27 so let us give the diameter first this is 27 and this length is should be 40 and I think uh, these two are uh, concentric so let us make it as concentric this with this okay now the sketch need one more constraint let us make this tangent this as a tangent already existing now you can see sketch is fully constrained let us finish this and i want to extrude this sketch along a symmetric value and it should be subtracted with the body okay yeah now we have got this i will just make this cut out now as you can see this this cutout is around 16 mm and it is uh, 12 mm inside from this it is 12 mm and from this it is 12 mm it is at the midpoint so let us make this and uh, you can see here uh, this is uh, 25 mm from this center so for that i will just go to sketch environment let us select a uh, sketch and i will just make one rectangle and uh, you know that this from this point it is 25 mm so let us make it as horizontal 25 mm right so that is the only dimension we have in our drawing so let us finish this and let us extrude this about what dimension 16 so let us make it as symmetric and 16 by 2 subtract it so now we have this now let us make this uh, top port portion so okay, you can see here that is a 35 mm uh, uh, hole is here at a 16 diameter as well as a 20 mm radius uh, the outer profile with a 16 mm thickness so let us go to sketcher again and uh, let us select this plane and now uh, what i will do is i'll just draw this line from this point and it should be 35 mm now i'll draw two circles one is with a 40 mm diameter another one with 16 mm diameter let us constrain these two and as you can see here uh, this should be tangent 
so let us draw a tangent between these two and uh, now you can see well, I will draw one more line here between these two this which is perpendicular so let us trim this okay before trimming I just need to ensure that this should be extended let us extend this okay now we can trim it let us trim it and now let's close the profile okay now i'll finish this sketch and i need to extrude it so let us go to extrude and select a feature curve with this feature metric value with a 8 mm fitted with this body let us click okay now you can see here this model is almost done same as this thank you guys please uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as well as share my videos thank you